If you've ever looked out the window of a moving car and noticed that the trees on the side of the road are whizzing by faster than the mountains off in the distance, then you've observed something called parallax. And it's a phenomenon that we can exploit to make our brains think that things are closer or further away. In this lesson, we'll use Framer's scroll speed effect to layer elements that move at different speeds as the visitor scrolls, creating a sense of three-dimensional depth. Again, for this lesson, we're gonna be using the same project file that we used for the past couple of lessons. So if you don't already have that, grab the Remix link from the description below and head to the third page of the project called Scroll Speed. And here you'll see we've got a few elements. We've got this UI and we've got a couple of these three-dimensional geometric elements. And they're all just kind of sticking together, scrolling at the same speed. And we're missing an opportunity to create quite a bit more depth here. And the most fundamental thing to note if we want to add depth that's plausible, that mimics the way things work in the physical world, is that if something is closer, it moves faster. And if something is further away, it moves slower. That is the very nature of parallax. So if we've got this element here that's clearly behind the UI that's overlapping it, then we would want this to move a little bit slower than the UI that's in front of it. So what we're gonna do is with this element selected, we're gonna come over here to effects and we're gonna choose to add scroll speed. And this popover couldn't be more simple. There's only one property for us to worry about, and that is speed. 100% is the normal scrolling speed of everything that's on the page. We are gonna go slower than that by lowering it down to 80%. And before we go any further at all, I'm gonna hit Command P on my Mac to preview this and show you what the result is. And as I scroll, you can see that that element is in fact scrolling a bit slower than everything else on the page. It's scrolling at 80% of the speed of the other elements on the page. So let's go a little bit nuts with this. I'm going to leave preview mode here and let's do these other couple of 3D floating elements here. Let's say that this one that's overlapping the image that's behind it, the implication is sort of that it's closer to us. So that being the case, we want it to move a bit faster. So again, I'll add the effect, choose scroll speed, and this one, I'm gonna crank it way up to 140%. So that's gonna scoot quite a bit faster. And then this one down here, it's also on top of some things. So let's make that one move a little faster too, but not as fast as the other one. We'll choose scroll speed. And this one I'll set to 120%. And then again, Command P on my Mac to preview this. And as we scroll, there we go. The closer one's moving the fastest. We've got this one here in the middle moving at normal speed, but because everything else is scrolling at a different speed, it looks like we've applied the effect to this as well. So we've got everything here scrolling at a slightly different speed. And if we wanted to, we could go one step further. We could say that this text here is way off in the distance, kind of like the mountains off in the distance or the moon in the sky. So we'll leave preview mode here and I'll select that frame. And I'm just gonna do this entire text lockup frame here. Again, I'll come down to effects, click to add the effect and choose scroll speed. And for this, we're gonna slow this one way down so that it looks further away. I'm gonna slow it all the way down to, let's say 40%. And now when we preview it, as we scroll, see that's now going so much slower that it's going to end up getting overlapped by the other elements as they come up. So we get that really cool foreground, middle ground, background relationship between all these layers that just adds a ton of depth and visual interest. And there you have it. Whether conscious or subconscious, the parallax effect gives our brains a signal that things are closer or further away. And with scroll speed, it's super easy to dial it into your sights. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.